One of the keys for a successful business is actually knowing your business. How much profit are you actually making? And I think one of the biggest mistakes that an entrepreneur makes is that they think that they buy a product and they sell it for X amount, they make X amount of money. Well, it's not as simple as that because there's a lot of things that come into play like ad spent, expenses like shipping, monthly recurring payments for a service that you need for that product that you're selling, and a lot of things that you want to have in numbers so you actually know how much you're actually making. And well, there's a solution for this problem with e-commerce stores. It's called Be Profit, and it's gonna help you have clear numbers of how much you're actually making and help you take better business decisions. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The supported platforms for Be Profit are Shopify, Wix, Amazon, and WooCommerce. So all the big e-commerce stores are available with WeProfit. And to get started, I would recommend going to the link in the description and head on over to the Butte Demo Store. This is going to give you an overview of what WeProfit can actually do so you can understand that it's actually worth it, okay? So head on over there, and if you wanna take advantage of a 30% off discount for three months, I will be leaving that coupon in the description also. Now, it's super easy to get started with the startup guide that they provide. So once you connect your first store to one of the main platforms, you're gonna get started with this step-by-step -step guide to set up your store. So just follow along and it's super easy to get started. Now, once you get started, we can go ahead and see our actual store right here with the dashboard with all that information that's going to help us take better business decisions. So in this case, we have a clear overview of a dashboard of total sales, the ad spend, shipping and handling, other expenses, refunds, costs, transition fees, net profits, and all that information right here. We're able to view it step by step. So we're able to view how much we're actually selling, how much we're actually earning per sale. So for example, we could see one of the products right here. So this was sold on November 2021. The cost was this one, discount, order count two, count sales, total sales of cost, gross profit, and the gross margin. So it's super easy to follow along with this. And the idea of this whole thing is to actually know actual numbers about your business. Now, if you wanna set up manually without going to the step-by-step -step guide, or if you need to fix something or add something, I recommend head on, heading over to the data settings. This is where you would get started after the setup guide to continue with the setup. For example, the UTM attribution, the shipping settings, the industries. So if we go into this one, for example, shipping, we're able to add our shipping information here. The industries, select our industries right there. Custom expenses and revenue. So we're able to view here the expenses. And you can see right here that they're expenses that we're, we don't consider most of us, right? So for example, if there's expense, expenses, like let's just say that you're paying for Canva month to month because you use that system to create the thumbnails for your sales products, well, that has to go into expenses. And this is going to help you know how much you're actually making when you're actually selling the, all the products in your store. So you can see, for example, the Australia Post business, how much you're paying for that monthly. It's a one-time payment. The G Suite, if I'm paying for that because I need it for my business, and all of that good stuff, we're able to add them right here. I can also import and sync expenses if I need to. For example, that's a really important part. The production cost. So for example, if there's a production cost that you need to consider, well, we add them here. Let's go back. The calculation references. We, want, we can enable or disable, for example, exclude pending orders, exclude, exclude unfulfilled orders, etc. We can tick these on or off. The production methods. So for example, in this case, I've said have a warehouse, but you can add more there. Production fees. So here we go, the transaction fee, the fixed feed and fees, and then you can add all of that there. General shop settings, we can go through these, set up our time zone, default ad date range, the date format. The date format is really important because depending on different countries, it changes. So if, for example, if you're in Mexico like I am, well, first it starts with the date, then the month, and then the year. So I would change the date format right here, and that helps me to do that. The currency format and all that good stuff integrations so if you didn't integrate with the platforms in the beginning with the startup guide we can do it through here so for example if i need to connect to another one i can go ahead and connect right here disconnect or whatever i need to do let's go back and back again there we go aliexpress extension if you're using that and api access to update cost over api so that's a little bit more advanced and there's tutorials on that on the free profit channel so do check that out now let's go into the reports to check them out 
So for example, if you have several stores connected, so let's just say that you are selling on the store on Shopify, on Wix, and you also have WooCommerce and Amazon, well, we're able to view these listed right here. In this demo profile, there's two stores listed. So one of them doesn't have any connections, but one of them does. And the idea is to view how the stores are actually doing with this. For example, the total sales, the order count, the ad spend, the cogs, gross profit, etc. So let's just say that you are doing ad spend and doing it to different stores. In this case, you can see which store is actually having more success. In case you want to reduce ad spend, then, well, like I mentioned before, actually taking business decisions with this information. We can view the products right here. So for example, all the products that you have listed, we're able to view them here. And we have several settings like edit each one of these or view them on Shopify if they're connected on Shopify, like this store is, all right? So we're able to view them, search through them, see how they're actually doing, the selling price, the sale, the refunds, the cogs, revenue, gross margin, and the profit for each one of these. So you can see we have a negative profit right here. So we have to check that out. What's going on? Like, why do we have a negative profit? So let's open this up. You can see there's five in stock, the weight type, and the selling price. So this gives us an idea that it's a negative. So we need to see why there's no profit. In this one, there is profit, so we can check that out. Again, all this information is to take decisions. The orders information, so let's, we can view the orders list right here. Now, which one has been refunded, unfulfilled, sent, and if we open each one of these, we can view them there. Like what was ordered in that particular order. So you can see that this one has three products inside of them, paid by customer, the cogs, and the tax. The gross margin, 98.9%. So all that information is available there. If I need to edit the order cost, customer order history, we can go ahead and check that out. If that customer made previous orders, we can view them through here. So we can go search through them by the order ID if we need to view them later and just search for it right there. The marketing options for the reports. Here's the market reports. We can see our ad spent, Facebook and Google, how much we've actually spent, how good are they doing, and all that information. The platforms, track your affiliate rows if you have that enabled. You can use court analysis to view by platform, by groups, by ads, etc., and use this information for that. The PL, we can view the PL report, which is a profit and loss. And this is a really clear view of how much profit you're making and how much loss you've gotten. All right. So you can view right here total sales by gross profit, by net profit, and view that information there. The custom reports, if you want to create a custom report, the custom reports, if you want to create customized reports, not based on the ones that they already pre built, we can do so there. And that'd be profit reports. B profit is basically about knowing your business in detail. All this data that you are getting is not available on WooCommerce, on Shopify, on Wix. And if it is, it's all mixed up. It's not easy to read and it's just time consuming. This way it's a clearer view and it connects with all the platforms that you need to add the expenses, like the ads account that you need to connect to, the manual expenses that you need to add for subscriptions, and all that is going to be taken into account. If you go to Shopify and Wix, you're only going to find the information for those sales and the revenue for that, but it's not connected to the other expenses. And B Profit is a complete solution to know your business. Well, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.